play. Start off part two of the Kauai River Adventure. Safely on board. Park. And as you can see, they're working away on the pile there. So uh, logs are coming aboard. There she is. Well, it's December the three, and uh, we've. Uh, Got our barge loaded, we're just about to take it off the beach there. And uh, there's what's left on the beach. Tried to get it off last night, the tide was two feet lower and uh, impossible. Wouldn't come off, stuck as hard as, a, as hard as could be. Anyway, we're going to go over and test her now. It's about uh, four o'clock in the morning. And uh, Got her load on T2 there. Uh, Bill's done changing the line from the T2 over to the 701. Uh, we're moving logs off to uh, at uh, Rock Inlet here, preparing to put the barge in uh, uh, high water. That's high water. Anyway, uh, figure we'll have it all unloaded and ready to go. That time we've. Uh, pump fuel into uh, the tanks on board uh, that they put on board for that purpose and so on so we'll be all ready to go Murray will be taking over uh, just around six o'clock there to uh, finish off loading December the 4th and we're in Quay Bay. Uh, this is going to be our last tide. Oh, there he is. I got to talk for a minute, so. A couple of instructions from the mate there. Ordered me around a little bit. I did a little work and we're waiting here. It's, you can see the difference from the beginning when we showed up and this is uh, after several days of outflow winds. Uh, the uh, forecast now is for storms of southeast and coming around to southwest again, so. We really expect that it's going to uh, to uh, start getting rough in here again. It's, uh, by the looks of it. Anyway, we're just about finished here. Uh, we're going to put some more lines out and so on. And there's just a little peek around on the 4th of December. And uh, there she is. We're backing off. We'll just take a look here. Quite a difference in the weather. We have to look for off. Offshore breezes or real stretch of calm weather and big tides here. Because of the conditions that they put down, not being able to go across the beach, you have to only load it on the big tide. You can't put it in on the, uh, the smaller tides there to uh, to put it in on a small tide, load it, and take it off on a bigger tide. So you could be limited to what uh, what sort of loads you put on there and get it off. We're, we've got everything secure there. Our, we're on our way back light. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, going to go on back there and uh, build slings for the for the boat to get on board the T2. December five, and uh, we're getting the last of the. This will be our last trip out. The tides are dropping off uh, uh, here. 
getting a load on here. This, uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, really the surf uh, keeps starting to build up again. And uh, things are rocking and rolling. The barge is still aground up there. And uh, that's what remains of the load there. There's a hole over there, he's uh, knocking down the pile and organizing some more wood for the loader. Here, this is uh, your last load out because the tides are dropping. Let's take a look around here and see if we can go Hold her up this well, search the barge up around, uh, coming down here, threatening to take it sideways here. So we're hoping it's to uh, maintain some stability there so they can keep on loading.
Bluetooth sound, and on the radar, that's us right there in the middle. And Quay River is just a beam of us right here. On the other side, uh, Hackeye Pass, and uh, where my pen's pointing there, that's Hackeye Pass. And uh, on the other side of Hackeye, open ocean. So any uh, big swell that's generated out there comes shooting through that pass, through the Hackeye, and right over straight into Koi River. And uh, just a big generated swell for, uh, we'll say, from this position here all along the beach and down in this area. So uh, that's the story. And these, this guy here, that's the Neva Straits with his barge. He just went going by us there. Well, we're at Lund Dock here. We've got Ivan Jones, the master diver. Deep diver, he's down there underneath somewhere. And of course, we've got the side dock superintendents. See the Lund Hotel there? Famous all around the coast. We're gonna see what Ivan comes up with here. He was down, uh, took a look and came back up with a knife, so I guess it's cuttable. Uh-huh. He's a nylon and that, uh, some other sort of junk. Well, we're in Ragged Islands. We just kicked the barges loose. Uh, the guys are putting all the putting the parts back together. They're uh, putting the pr protection plate back over the couplings or uh, over the uh, hose ends there, and uh, so the uh, machine will be ready for offload tomorrow morning. Got a weather break here. We're gonna jump for it. Uh, it's supposed to come around southeast again, right behind us. So we're gonna jump down to the sound here. Uh, we're gonna offload log. I think it's uh, five hours we can spend here, or whatever it is to offload here. We'll greatly save on the bottom end. Nice evening, clear sky, light winds. Let's see uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, crew boat that we picked up here for repair. It's on the log barge. It was in uh, Rock Rock Inlet with the log barge, and uh, while we were stopped for the snow, we uh, lifted it on board, uh, on board the barge to get it out of there and uh, out of the way and on, on, in a safe spot. And uh, we'll be putting it over onto the T2 uh, tomorrow, so at some.